Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 22 of Crusader Kings 3. And after managing to take the Kingdom of Wales back from our brother after our original ruler died, we now have a war on our hands. It is mostly against the um, Duchess uh, of um, Wessex. Uh, I've hired some mercenaries here because, um, to be quite frank, they took a lot of our levies away. So we've got a decent number of men. Uh, I'm going to go over here and try and um, nobble down that army if I can, because it's um, it's a, it's kind of on its own. Uh, I'm already ill. Excellent. Um, so I've gained the trait ill, whatever happens. So do what is necessary. This is probably where I'm, where I'm going to die. Uh, oh, what happens here? Reduced disease symptoms for one year. Oh, that's fine. I just I thought well that could solve my problem if 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 I die and that no I wouldn't end up playing as the brother would I I'd be play, I'd end up playing as the son in that case but that's fine so see this is one army that we can actually get an easy win on luckily I've been able to sort of catch them before they've had this massive chance to all kind of join up together which is ideal let's see if we can go straight in there now I've, I've kind of made them decide not to do that. Bailey constructed in Warwick, Barrett's constructed in Stafford. All of these things are going to increase our levies. We do have some more armies coming in over in Wales. We'll go and deal with them. What we want to do at this point is go and beat armies up. We don't want to start trying to siege stuff down. But we don't want the war to go on for too long either because obviously it costs a lot of money to be at war. Let's go over this way. I mean, we've got, we've got, re luckily, this character has really high martial. So it puts me in a position where I'm automatically going to do relatively well in wars, as long as I don't make too many mistakes. Men at arms negotiation for five years. Excellent. So our men at arms maintenance minus 25%. So now we're only spending one gold per month. Another army there moving into position so we should be able to grab that one obviously i'm going to be sort of pausing and unpausing a lot because i don't want to miss these opportunities or you know end up running into a massive stack that i can't deal with or something like that so we're already at 40 percent this army is now recovered enough to sort of work its way uh, back so i'm going to go down here and try and smash it where we can my old self excellent lost the trait ill that's what we want to see. So I'm going to carry on marching down here. Uh, if I can hit that uh, small stack first. Not too sure why they're constantly going after this place that has probably some of the worst um, value in the war. There we go. Our knights wounded somebody on their side. Gain some additional taxes. That's nice. An extra 115 boost. That's an extra 115 months that we can have this uh, war rage. Uh, my son is no longer a child. Um, so you can get married. You're a thrifty clerk. He's kind of... Uh, he's not great, is he? This one. He's kind of average. He's like... Uh, he's got nothing, really. Uh, that's fine. So let's get back to the war. And just get rid of all of this uh, all of this faff. Um, let's go and, and try and siege their capital. Now we will take a bit of attrition here. Now I do still have the uh, siege equipment in here. And it's a good quality army. So we might be able to siege it really quickly. We're already 61% of the way through this war. And this might be a good way for me to start being able to break up um, Wessex. Now, what I could potentially do here with this army, uh, I don't know, I think even if I pulled off the mercenaries on their own, they wouldn't necessarily be strong enough to beat this army. So let's just keep everybody together. I should be able to beat everybody in a siege race. I've already got a wall breach. Obviously, we've lost a few men. Um, 
Which is not terrible because we're now not actually paying any uh, any maintenance. So the question is, who's going to have the faster sieges? If we can get another wall breach, that'd be fantastic. Assaulting the fort would knock another sort of two days off the siege timer, but we'd lose more men. There we go. We've got a large wall breach now. So that's going to drastically speed up the um, the siege. Another month left. Uh, these guys, yeah, these guys are getting nowhere with their siege. Uh, a scheme at court. Another prisoner here. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not know who, someone is plotting to kill my prisoner. Um, I don't care, really. <laughs> it's like, why? Why is that a? Why is that a problem to me? Um, this might give us a good chunk of war score as well because it is the D duchy capital. So five days left. Um, that is the plane that we were working on. There we go. Six, uh, seventy-six percent. Not as much as I'd hoped for. So let's go over there and smash the army again. And then we'll probably just jump on this one and this one because they're, they're right next door. So as you can see, all of this area with the flashing red outline belongs to one vassal. No, that was a different vassal. The vast majority of this belongs to one vassal. So, yeah, that's not great. Now, oh, hang on. Where, where, oh, the rest of my army decided not to come along there. Oh, good job I just happened to notice that skull. I'm like, why Why is that a skull? I should easily win this. It's because my I'd only somehow selected half of the army. Good job I noticed that before barreling in. Although all we would have lost is, is the mercenary company at that point. Unfortunately, it has delayed my, um, delayed my arrival somewhat. Now, are we all selected this time? Yes, we are. So, let's go and march in here. They've actually broken the siege, which is excellent. going to try and catch them somewhere if I can. So that should be another straightforward win. Taking another prisoner. Uh, empty councillor position. That's our spy master. Uh, can we get a decent spy master? Mm, not really. They're all pretty terrible. I guess it's going to be you. Being raided as well, just to make things even more annoying. So, yeah, let's go and siege out Gloucester, just because it's nearby. And that, that might be enough. Uh, are we gaining any ticking war score? It might happen. This is our brother. My Chancellor Duke Ulf has worked hard to convince our neighbouring realms of the vassals of the peace treaty I entered with Lord Wizard of Prince Ballard. That's not how you spell, so pronounce it. It's flawed. Uh, which is, that's our brother, isn't it? Yeah. So I can declare war on my brother if I want to. Not that I need to. I think he's already at war with me. Who is in this war, technically? Not my actual brother. But yeah, the Duchess of Wessex, which is a little bit of a problem. So there are a few small armies milling around. I'm, I'm not, I'm not concerned about them to be honest. Um, I think it'll be fine. And again, I think before he even has a chance to do anything, or she even has a chance to do anything, I'll be able to jump in there and and smash an army. So there's 35 days now left on the siege. It would be nice if we could get a large wall breach, but I don't think that's going to happen. Would be extra nice if I wasn't being raided. There we go. We got the siege. We're at 100%. So what happens if we enforce demands? The contested title remains with us. All rebelling vassals are imprisoned. So she will leave the faction. Cannot join another faction for 10 years. She gets imprisoned. From rightful imprison her. Right, okay, so. She is now in prison, but she is still the... She does still hold that title. Uh, what we might be able to do now is actually take that off her. 
can't revoke title because we don't have limited crown authority or better. We should probably think about getting that soon. We don't have the right tech for it. Um... She does have an heir, who also has an heir. So, getting that duchy back to being ours is very unlikely to happen anytime soon. We could ask for a claim on the title. We could, um, could get her excommunicated. Wow, it'd cost 730 piety in order to get a claim on there. But he wouldn't do it anyway, because she's my vassal. What if I asked for her to be excommunicated? He would actually accept. And that would allow us to revoke her title. So she loses piety... This is, we can imprison her, we can banish her, we can revoke title. I think, oh, 500 piety. But then we'd have to, we wouldn't have any piety left to revoke the title anyway, so I think we just leave her to sit and rot in the dungeon for a bit, to be perfectly honest. I think that's absolutely fine. Um... Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's disband, we're not at war, we'll disband everybody, including the mercenaries. Is, I was just thinking, do I want to deal with these raiders? I mean, I, I do, but at the same time, I'm not overly concerned with rushing to deal with that. Uh, Ransom, Duchess, uh, Mechflid. I cannot stand this imprisonment any longer. Would you accept this offer in return for my freedom? Um... I'm going to say yes. She can't join a faction for 10 years. Actually, why has she got less opinion of me now that I've released her? She was at plus 10. Um, but I've got some money. I've got some more prisoners here that can be uh, ransomed as well. You can't afford the full ransom. Well, stay there and rot then. Um... I will ransom these people out, including my brother. You know, I don't want to be at war. I just, I just want my, I just want my titles. Um, what have we got here? So we've got two options for our lifestyle perk now. We can go overseer or gallant. So we've got strategist, uh, and that gives us things like reducing the cost of CB. Gives us, um, and what we we our first ruler was was Marshall anyway, so we've kind of already seen these. So we've got the one that basically helps us with fighting in general. Uh, natural dread, dread and control growth could be really useful. Last time we went down uh, gallant with our grandfather, um, which is nice. Don't get me wrong, but uh, that again helps you uh, more in combat. Uh, but I think if we go down overseer, that'll help with things like increasing control. It'll give us more dread. Uh, it, it will help us keep people in line, especially when we've got factions being created against us. So it's well worth doing that. Um, yeah, so I've got one person that I can ransom that I'm not going to. Uh, I've got someone who I can lawfully imprison. This is my mother. Why can I lawfully imprison my mother? That's a weird thing. Um, we can create the Duchy of Cornwall still. We can still go to war. So I can actually now go to war for Gwynedd. Um, that is for the lordship. I still did. I never did get the one for the duchy, which is a bit of a shame. So I could go ahead and take that. All of these ransoms being accepted, back up to over a thousand uh, gold now, and I'm gained additional taxes. It's really good having a, a, a decent steward. So let's go and build up where we can. Um, can we put something else in here? No. Can we increase the hunting grounds? Yep, let's go and upgrade that. Uh, Stafford, we can... Let's improve the crop fields. It'll give us more taxes. Uh, Leicester, let's go and improve the hunting grounds there. Quite expensive, but it'll all help. 
So I do want to start taking more of this land. We've also got potential Albers spreading out around um, Scotland, which is not... Uh, sorry, uh, around Ireland, which is not great. Um, it would be nice if we could take what is... Right, who owns this? Oh, you're actually mostly owned by uh, the Vikings. So yeah, taking any of that is going to be difficult. Not impossible, though. So if I wanted to declare a war on you, we could declare a holy war. For the entire duchy, in fact. Uh, similar army size. He's got a lot of allies. I think we'll wait on that one. I think we'll try and get Wales first. I mean, that makes the most sense. Now, we do have the Kingdom of Wales now. Um, we didn't before. We actually hold both kingdom titles. Is that actually having a negative effect on us in any way, shape, or form? Doesn't look like it is. We've got some dread now, which is good. Um, so what we probably want to do... She, she's still not going to accept Vassalize. I mean, she hates me anyway. Yeah, it's because of that different culture group. She is intimidated, which is really nice. That's why it, sometimes it helps having dread. Um, so yeah, if we want to take any of this land, I think we've just got to go ahead and take it. Uh, so with that in mind, let's be doing that. Let's go and get the rally point let's move it over somewhere close by uh we will declare the war on her i think that's fine we're going to go for our own claim that will leave a bit of border gore but i prefer getting on my own claims rather than anything else uh just before i do that what is my levy looking like i guess we can allow it to recover a little bit more so the factions are gone now and also the good thing is most of those people can't join a faction for another 10 years so you know, they've kind of... They've hurt themselves more than anything. There's the barracks constructed in Derby. So all of this thing helps with the uh, with the levies. So we could have like 6,000 soldiers. I think all of the uh, men-at-arms are back at full. So that barracks is conducted in Derby. I mean, I could then go ahead and build something else here. We could get, like, pastoral lands. Give some more levies and a bit of tax. Sure, let's go and do that one. So before we spend any other money, obviously we're going we're gonna to go to war, so that's going to cost us some money anyway. But let's go ahead and do that. I think that is fine. So, for our own claims, she has got allies that she can bring in. I, I don't think it's going to be a problem. I'm uh, going to raise our army straight the way. She was very quick there in um, raising her arm. Well, is the AI, I suppose. The AI is always quick at doing everything. Uh, I was hoping these two armies would get together because I wanted to just dive in here and jump on that army before it had a chance to go anywhere. Oh, we have actually caught them. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the army that's got the siege stuff and leave them there and take the other army and... I want the 309... K army, that one, right, You're, there we go, that should work, enemy combatants captured, which is always good, now there's every chance that that, um, that army might come back, in fact I fully expect them to, so we'll see what happens with that. We should be alright though. I mean I think I think this is a relatively uh, straightforward straightforward war. Where has the army even gone? It disappeared right off somewhere. Or did I just wipe them out completely? I don't remember seeing them skulk off. Uh, what have we got here? Mercenary company contract expiring. Oh I forgot to get rid of the mercenary companies. No wonder we're losing money. I know I disbanded them. I meant to actually um, get rid of... I guess maybe you have to see out their contract anyway. That's fine. Can we just end? No, we don't want to extend it. We'll just let it run out. We've got this war in the bag, I think, so... We don't want to extend their contracts. We don't need them anymore. It was literally just for that big faction war. And that was simply because with it being... Uh, uh, a faction war, half of our levies were taken from us because they were fighting against us. There's the 100% though. So we'll go and enforce those demands. 
You can't complain, woman. You had the option to become a vassal, but no, you decided that you wanted to just uh, keep all of your stuff. Now, that's put me over the uh, vassal limit. So, du jour, duchies. Um, so, that belongs to Gwynedd. So, I'm not going to give that to anybody else. Um, well, I am going to give it to somebody else. I'm not going to give the duchy to somebody. Uh, I'm not going to give it to somebody who already owns something. I'll just give it to a random... A random person. Um, you'll do. So, yeah, we'll allow those contracts to expire. And then we'll probably be making half-decent money again. Nice, that worked out. We can ask our Head of Faith for gold. I mean, we don't need it, but we'll ask for it. It's, it's free gold, right? Uh, we've got... One prisoner that can be ransomed for 50 more gold. We can actually declare war on King Leon of West Francia. We can usurp the Principality of Gwynedd. Which we probably should do. 250 gold. Fine. So, now, Gwynedd is de jure mine. So, it gives me claims on everything, or it should give me claims on everything. If I was to declare war on you, still can't flip and do it. And that's Powys, which it shouldn't be Powys because it's in Gwynedd. This is Powys, that's weird. It all gets kind of messed up after a while. Um, now, did that give me the duchy? I think it should have done. Yeah, too many duchies. So I need to give Gwynedd to somebody else. So we've got this guy who I just gave Gwynedd to, or at least the province in Gwynedd. I'm going to grant you the title of the Petty Kingdom of Gwynedd. There we go. Still my vassal. Uh, the need to tell. My secrets are uncomfortable burdens I can never put down, but if I shared them with someone, they might be lighter to carry. I feel certain that Enfrith would understand me. This is my friend and an adventurer. Come closer. I have something to confess. Uh, learns your non-believer secret. Dum-dum-dum. Character believes in a false god or none at all. Uh, that might not be good. I don't have any other options there, though. I can, I, I can either agree to that or not. Um... So, there are only two counties. Three? Three counties left. There are only three counties left in England that I no longer, that I do not yet control. And then it's on... Well, Wales, not England. Um, so, yeah. There are two, there, I've got all of England. There are two counties in Wales that I... Three counties in Wales that I do not control. And then it's kind of on to Alba. Um, we do still have uh, an alliance with Alba for the time being. I'm being raided as well, which is a pain in the butt, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, can those mercenary contracts just expire? Do we not have an option to get rid of them? Oh, they're almost gone anyway. Didn't realise where they popped up. It's down here. So those contracts are over. So now we're making 14.6 gold per month, which is decent. And, uh, yeah, that all worked out quite nicely. And I think that is a good place to end the video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Crusader Kings 3. As always, if you are, please do leave a like on the video because it really helps myself and the channel out. I will see you guys on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.